We're back. Yo. Finally. Well, not really a finally. It wasn't as big a gap as the last time. No. But it's Friday. As Rebecca Black, the great poet of our era, once said, <laughs> it's Friday. <laughs> it's Friday. It's Friday. Grinding Pokemon on Friday. Woo. Alright, so we've already been down this route, but we need to go to Dragon's Den. Now, you and I were talking earlier about maybe repelling through Dragon's Den, but we changed our mind on that. Yeah. We found out... I can't believe you uh, can't get the Super Rod until Kanto. Yeah. I what po wonder what Pokemon we have a chance of getting in this water. Uh, hold oh, on. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, well, yeah, that's fine. A Magikarp. Yeah. You know, we don't have a Magikarp. And we might need a backup <laughs> water Pokemon. In Crystal, they just give you a Dratini. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, I killed it. I want to pay attention. Oh, well. There's plenty of opportunity to catch a Magikarp. If we, if we really, really want one. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm level 42. Body slam. <laughs> we'll just flat out kill this thing. Yeah, all our moves will flat out kill pretty much everything. Yeah. We'll, we'll just put Noctis up front. How about that? Okay, we do want to repel up until we can... Actually, there's no... Is there Pokemon? no encounters? No. It's only in surfing or fishing. Gotcha. Okay. There are some items in here, too. Ah, uh, RC. Uh, let's see. Yes. Dragon Fang, Dragon Breath, Max Potion, Revive, and Max Elixir. Oh, uh, we got a Whirlpool. Forgot all about oh, that. Oh, no. We're gonna have to get our slave. And here's an encounter. It's Magikarp. Oh, of course. <laughs> it was It was gonna be a big chance that it was gonna be Magikarp. <laughs> Still go buy a Dratini if you really want one. And you want to grind up coins. <laughs> Grinded coins. That was our backup plan. I just wanted to see if that would kill. Figured it would. I forgot you need to Whirlpool to get through here. That's lame. No. So, uh... What you got going on for this weekend? Oh... Not much. Whole bunch of Probably nothing. Probably going to a uh, strawberry festival tomorrow. Well, that sounds fun. Yeah, I do like strawberries. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of strawberries. I love the taste of them. I don't like eating the berry. Mm. I just don't like the seeds. Nah, I love it. I love them. I once ate. I don't know. I'm pretty sure we went to a or I uh, I got a bunch of family in Wisconsin and we went up there one year um, in the summer. And we bought, like, I don't know, maybe five pounds of strawberries. And me and my cousin <laughs> just went through, like, half of it by the time we were back from the Amish. Holy moly. Putting in that work. Oh, you're yeah. getting them strawberries. I'm a big orange guy. I like oranges. You know, I'm not. <laughs> Orang oranges, grapes, apples are good. <laughs> um, I just, I'm not a big, I don't like citrus. Yeah, most I love citrus. Much. I, I could even eat lemons. I guess lemons make me nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> Too sour. No, it's a bad experience from a kid. And my mom. No, I think made you me told. Eat. I think we talked about this one. Yeah, time. probably. My mom made me drink Theraflu, and then so she kept making me drink it, and then I threw up from it. <laughs> so it's like I smell it, and I, it just triggers it. Yeah, you start having PTSD. Yeah, kind of. it used to be a lot worse. Now it's just. Ugh. Aw, oh, poor Krabby. Or Sonya. She's been reduced to to learning. <laughs> well, to, to trying to learn it, because I keep hitting Surf. Might as well teach her Waterfall as well. Because we'll have to use that here in a second. Oh, yeah. She can't learn it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What level is she? Uh, she is level... 22. Let's see. I thought we'd gotten a poly wag. Well, we did. Uh, we did get a poly wag. Okay. 
Poliwag is in uh, the daycare. I'm pretty sure Poliwag oh, can run a waterfall. So we'll have to go back and get her. I can look. Poliwag. <laughs> I wonder what level those things are now. Oh, yeah. That was a while ago that we deposited them. <laughs> and we did a lot of grinding between now and then. We did. Uh, it's, this is going to be funny. Let's see. Can Kingler learn those? Nope. Oh, wait. Uh, nope. I'm surprised Kingler can't learn Waterfall. Because it's an attack yeah. Pokemon, too, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Big time. Maybe it learns Waterfall in later gens. Poliwag can learn Whirlpool and Waterfall. Alright. I thought so, because you get it in the speedrun. Yeah. I was just like, where's our Poliwag at? I remember catching one. And then if we evolve it into Poliwhirl, it can also learn Strength. But who did we who did we teach Strength to? Core. Okay, then. Yeah, we don't need it. Yeah. Yeah. We just need something to learn Waterfall. Yeah, so... I don't know what I'm gonna do this weekend. Yeah? I've got no more Kingdom Hearts to play. <laughs> You could finally play Monster Hunter. <laughs> I could. Maybe Sunday we we can get together and play some if Tets is free. Yeah. I'm sure Tets would be down. Yeah, I'd, I'd be fine with that, honestly. Because as I said, I'm not playing anything. Yeah. I'm going to play through some Final Fantasy XV, but not like oh, right. all the time, really. Probably just like an hour or two a day, maybe. You say that. Yeah, I do say that. And then all your whole weekend's eaten up by it. Because <laughs> it's the greatest game. It, it is the greatest game of all time. We are naming all of our, our Pokemon after Final Fantasy 15 characters. So. Exactly. But, um... I'll probably be gone all day tomorrow. Mm. Doing I don't even know what. Because my friends haven't texted me letting me know what we're doing. <laughs> I don't have anything ready for the, the climax of my D&D game. You don't have anything ready? I mean, I have stuff ready, but it's a giant dungeon crawl, basically. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any of the dungeon stuff planned out. I got you. I'm, I'm the kind of guy who likes to map stuff out ahead of time. Sure. Like, literally draw the map set at a time. <laughs> and then you feel bad when your players don't end up in that encounter that you designed. Yeah. That's, <laughs> I mean, practically guaranteed, it seems. Yeah. Well, I mean... This one's happening. They're going into the abyss, so... Mm -hmm. To stop a uh, a rock shasa from becoming the next Orcus. That's quite the jump. Uh, yep. Well, one of them's destined to become Asmodeus, so there you go. Ah. It, <laughs> it's an evil game, so. Oh, that makes sense. And I deposited Crobat, who had fly. I'm not thinking. I'm not thinking, Mal. <laughs> we could just flew right to New Bark Town. Well, we can't okay. fly right to New Bark Town. We gotta go get our Polywork. Oh, yeah. So you probably should fly. Let's deposit. Uh, core. I don't think we need right now. Sonya, we're done with. Iggy. There you are. Iggy. I don't even remember the other Pokemon we left there. We we might have an egg. Uh, I think it was Paris, so probably not. <laughs> we'll see. Or was it another water Pokemon? I don't remember what we left there. I thought it might have been Iris for a little bit. Oh, it is another water Pokemon. It's a tentacle. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, they're probably not in that group. I want to see your crow. Crow, I believe... What? I can't remember what who was what. 23 levels! Oh, baby. We have a level 38 polywag. <laughs> it is stronger than some of our current party members. Well, stronger. Well, yeah, it's subjective. Alright, stats I'm so tempted not. to use a rare candy on it and evolve it, but that's not I mean... happening. I don't think we have any rare candies anyways. How much XP does it got? Does, when you get them, does it, is it... I think it's I mean, by step, so I think they can keep going. Yeah. Uh, you don't need a rain dance. You ain't learning I mean, thunder. No, what is it? Uh, Poliwhirl stats are not good. No, nah, they're not. Poliwags are even worse. <laughs> Ultros. 17 levels. I'll just leave him there. Alright. Now we go to New Bark Town. We're going to Kanto, Mal. Woo! We're gonna set our well, first our first yeah. step in Kanto. Alright, coming up. Once we get past the waterfall, we'll get some grass. Yeah, well here's a here's an encounter for New Bark Town. It's a tentacle big whoop. Oh yeah. Probably decent XP, so let's kill it. Actually, you might have gone over. We'll check the map. Maybe just wasted our chance to get something better than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pro nuzlocking now. Pro. We're not playing Crystal where it doesn't tell you when you transition, so. Mm. Sadly. Yep, we transitioned. Wah, wah. No Arbok, Quagsire, Ponita, or the Doduo line. Yeah, there's another route to the east of it. Route 26. Yeah. We're alright. We'll be alright. Everything's fine. Only a 1% Quagsire on that route. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wait, it's nighttime. 5%. We take those odds. 20% Ponita. Or wait, yeah. 70% Raticate. So we're seeing a Raticate. Mm -mm. Hey, maybe we'll get Paris Luck. Dude, I already mm -hmm. checked my map. Well, what can we get in Tojo Falls? Nothing? I want to say nothing. Oh, wait, no. You can get it. Um, Zubats, Raticates, Golbats, Radita, and Slowpoke. <laughs> Prompto 2. Right. Boogaloo. Uh, Crap. you could... Oh, Surfing, you can get a Goldeen. Yeah, it's a Radita. Ah. Actually, Surfing for the encounter may have been probably the best option. Yeah, it would have been. And now! No. Uh, surfing on... Oh, wait, no. Uh, I mean, we could good rod and then, um, on Route 27, if, or 6, we could get a Chincho or a Shelder. Okay. Although, Shelder is the... Shelder's the defensive one. Yeah, and... you need a Water uh, Stone to evolve it. And the other one turns into a Lantern, which is crappy stats. Uh, that would have been a Goldeen. Bulky. Very bulky. And yeah. it's HP. Rest of the stats suck. It's I mean it's got a 76 special attack, that's basically what it's got going for it. Yeah. And we've got RNA, so. <laughs> Much better. Oh yeah. It's just a cool top matchup, water electric. That's right. the best thing about Chincho. Uh... Oh, there's some trainers on that route too though. Yep. Should have a bunch of trainers over here. Got a Fisher and then someone with an Espeon. Man of class. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Exquisite. Only the finest. 
Yeah, Psychic Richard. Wise man. <laughs> uh, then we've got some cool trainers. One has a Pikachu and Blastoise. The other is a Victory Bell, Kingler, and Flareon, which we can get their number. Yeah, we're all numbered out. So we'd have to think of who to ditch if it's worth yeah. it. He probably gives better XP than some of the others, possibly. I don't know who we have. I guess we'd have to look him up. Yeah. Uh, but he also probably... I mean, he probably gives more money. I don't know if that's really relevant. Yeah, it's cool probably not as are pretty loaded, loaded. We're pretty good on cash right now. Hmm. Oh, Venusaur. We're gonna buy a lot of uh, full... Restores? <laughs> yeah. yeah. A lot of full restores. Oh, who's this? Where, oh, are you still on 27? Yeah, I'm still on the same route. Oh, yeah, I didn't even look at their trainers. Yep, got the the whole line. She's oh, got, God, we got paralyzed, really? Did you already take out the other two? Uh, no, she switched right to Venusaur. Oh, okay. Get burned! Oh, that XP, though. We're close to, uh, Coplosion. Yeah? The level is Noctis. 35. Nice. So, after this, maybe. Or we gotta yeah, go to the next 36. one. Uh, yeah. it would, it'll uh, be the next encounter. You I might think. be 38. <laughs> oh, I hope not. <laughs> no, I think about it. That's super high. Because he leveled up the soonest. For yeah. middle, so I think he's the latest otherwise. Yeah, he leveled up like level 14. Oh no, 36. Alright, cool. That's Fresh right. water! It's because yeah, for alligators, 30, and him, then. Him and Ignis are the ones we want to train the most here just because of all the rock Pokemon in the. Uh, right. What's it called? Uh, Victory Road? Yeah, Victory Road. Uh, the cool trainer ha if uh, the male cool trainer has a magneton, ooh, and then a quagsire and execute. Gonna have to switch out for that quagsire. Yeah. <laughs> if only we still had the you know. Actually, oh wait, uh, I'm gonna have water gun, but still probably better. Save probably use time. Ignis on him. Yeah. Iggy. Hey, Won't have earthquake. No. It's only gonna have. Sl oh, it's just gonna have water gun and slam. Ignis. Hopefully, it slam doesn't hurt too much. Should go water gun here. No, I damn need it. Oh, love them. I care not for your special defense, sir. For I can fly. Whee. Yeah, it's defensive. Yeah. Jerk. Ow. I <laughs> got critted. Um. <sighs> yeah, well, <laughs> gonna be lots of grinding tonight. <laughs> I think we're basically going to spend the entire latter half of the stream in Victory Road. After this is execute. Yep, we'll just wing attack it. And then the next guy has a sand slash, and that's it. So I don't know if you want to lead with someone else. Uh, yeah, we'll probably switch to Ignis. Uh, we got Typhlosion here. Hopefully, we don't get slash critted. Noctis is evolving, finally! <laughs> Woo! It's the time skip! It's happened! <laughs> King Noctis. Yep. Look how regal he looks. He's got his fire main going on. Ugh. Du -du -du -du. Oh god. Oh, I forgot to switch out. Well. Which is fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's a sand slash. Yeah, it's probably just gonna slash everything. Here, here's what we do. 
<laughs> we don't do that. Doesn't even have any ground moves. I don't, does Noctis have any non-fire moves? No, just headbutt him. Why not? Um, yeah. Or at least I don't think he is. <laughs> oh, he's got, like, sand, at or sand attack. Sand but... attack. That's not even a ground move, but... Yeah. It's just annoying. <laughs> Let's dig. There, yeah, he doesn't look... Wow. A lot of these kind of, like, gra like, ground doesn't seem to have any good attacks or, or early on. Yeah, this... I think the only really ground attack they added this gen was, uh... Holy shit. Was, uh... Magnitude. Mm. Oh, yeah, that slash crit. Yep. That's why Sand Slash was actually a pretty good Pokemon in Gen 1, because he was so fast, and he had Slash. Right. He just crit everything. Jeez, he's almost 37 now. Yep. Man, that's going to be a long grind, though. Yeah, it is. get him to, like, up there. <laughs> Lots of digging. That's why I'm pretty sure I want to teach Noctis Earthquake. Mm-hmm. This. Let's go ahead and switch them to you. Get Ignis some more XP. <laughs> yeah, we were. Um. I think <laughs> last stream talking about some of the upcoming PS4 games. Uh, of course, Star Me. Uh, oh, right. We're hmm. talking about some of the upcoming PS4 games, and, um... Uh... <laughs> one of the ones we were talking about, Days Gone, has been pushed back to 2019, <laughs> which neither of us really care about. Nope. Though I was, I think, saying in Discord, I was surprised to learn that uh, that studio, whose name now I can't remember, <laughs> their first game was Bubsy 3D, which I like to oh, meme. Really? Which I like to meme about a lot. Yeah, I mean it is a popular meme target. It is a meme game. All the Bubsies are. <laughs> yeah, the games no one asked for. It was their attempt to basically cash in on Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, was it? I figured it was more like a uh, crash or something. Nah, that was before Crash, the original mm -hmm. Bubsy. Oh, the original. I think I've only yeah. se I've only seen the one on the PlayStation. Yeah, uh, there was a Bubsy. I think there was a Bubsy two actually. Or something. Yeah, three D is the one for PlayStation. Yeah. It was a awful, awful platformer. Yeah, I had it. <laughs> I was a kid because I actually, for some reason, was a dumb kid and locked the the <laughs> first Bubsy game. Mm. For Super Nintendo, which w which was just like a Sonic clone, you just ran really fast. I see. And it had w worse platforming. It was not a good game. <laughs> and then Bubsy 3D was worse. Yeah. I watched someone stream it because well, they because pl they play bad games sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> And that was one. I can't even look at it anymore. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh god, how did I play this when I was a kid? Uh, next up we got a guy with a far-fetched. Far-fetched. That's it. Or wait, is that a... No. This is... Oh, she's got a star -me. Cool train arena. All these star -mies. She's got two, actually. Oh my god. And a Nidic Queen. So just uh, enough to make you swap out from Aranea. Yeah, I know. Or, or, uh... Thunder Punch, your way to victory! If only he could learn Oz Punch, too. Or she. She could just be our Hitmonchan. <laughs> yeah. If only. It would be an even better one. Because her special is yeah. way better. <laughs> Arnea can pretty much wipe out all of Rival's Pokemon right now, probably. 
Oh yeah. Just Cadabra and Haunter don't have type advantage against, but they're thirty and they're thirty-five, so I guess it could be difficult. Yeah. Alright, who do we? Your strongest to? is for Alligator, but level thirty-eight. Arden, I guess. Though he'll be pretty easy to get XP on. Maybe we don't want to like use him a whole lot. I don't know. You just saw beam his way through all his problems, essentially. He is kind of squishy. He is. Bom, 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 bom. Leave him in for this spot. Uh, I mean, Cause Shadow Ball! Oh yeah, I was gonna say, Sybeam's not gonna have type advantage. <laughs> oh, no, he tanked it. Unfortunately, Bubble Beam is not a good move. <laughs> it is not going to be enough. Have that 20% Dawn fan <laughs> coming up? <laughs> yep, or a Rhyhorn. 5% uh, Rhyhorn. Yeah. Probably going to be a Graveler. <laughs> yeah. I mean. Or an Onyx, yeah. I guess. Uh, pro a Graveler Golbat, probably. Oh yeah, I forgot Golbat was in here. Onyx is only 15%. So we might see him. Burn through these fresh waters. Like ain't nobody's business. Okay, now I think we're on a new route. Yes, we are. Yeah, you can kind of see when it changes. So do we fish? Or do we go in the grass? Grass, I think. I mean, the grass check. is better. Got... I, mean, do I can double check. What are we on, 26? 26. Uh, fishing is just gonna give a... Oh, yeah. Eh. I don't think we want a Chin Chow or... Nah. 10% shelter is not worth it. I would go grass. Okay. I'd rather have the Ponyta for backup or... the. It's only 1%, but Quagsire. Mm hmm. Uh, minimize trolling. Here we go. Tiny little crawfish. <laughs> Itty bitty. I don't know. Would we catch a Doduo? It's 40%. I'll, oh, wait, no. I'd... Sorry. Nope. Keep looking in the night. It's 70% Raticate. <laughs> <laughs> I keep not looking in the night. I would totally take a Doduo. Yeah. Nope. Doesn't come out at night time. No. Uh... Fogsire goes up to 5%. You don't say. In night time, yeah. Maybe, Maybe we'll, we'll get, get Paris luck. luck. <laughs> A man can dream. Bum, 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 bum. We're gonna need somebody to replace Core eventually. Yeah, I don't. I mean, Hope and Dawn fan. <laughs> yeah. If not that, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because we missed out on uh, Fampy. What? We were not lucky enough to get Fampy. We got a, a Graveler as our encounter on that route. We've got Arnea, though. No, I'm saying uh, Fanfy is what evolves into Dawn Fan. Oh, right. Sorry, I'm thinking. On the route under Blackthorn. Yep. Yeah. And it's Eradicate. As uh, predicted. Okay. Yeah. I don't think we've had any great um, roles, really. Yeah. Outside of uh, outside of um, our Aranea. Yeah, which is came through in a big way. Half of our team right now is gift Pokemon. Sort of, or not gifts, I guess. Lapras, but is a guarantee. Yeah. And then starter and gift. Exactly. Alright, well, we can't use Ignis here. We will die. Um. <laughs> maybe Regis, just because he's the tankiest? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that or Arnea, probably. Oh yeah, Regis is way tankier. Yeah, let's use Regis.
flamethrower. What? <laughs> oh wait, no, it's water. Thunderbolt. Ice, so, yeah. It's not even a TM this gen. Confusion in the saw beam. Yeah, it does like the confusion. Critical hit, saw beam. Oh, of course. Yeah, not that much. Yeah. Still good. Yeah, we're Might fine. Heal, but we will after fine. the fight. Yeah. Did quick attack. Um. So yeah. Yesterday, on the podcast, we talked about the Nintendo stuff. Yep. Mal was bummed out because <laughs> we didn't get to see any Fire Emblem. Understandably nope. so. Don't understandably so me. No, I'm saying I understand where you're coming from. Oh. Like... I wanted to see something too. I think we're going to see something in E3 though. We're starting to get into the the realm of we can make some E three predictions about what might show up there, just based yeah. on because game devs are starting to, or I guess not really the devs, but the um, Sony and Nintendo are starting to talk about stuff that's coming out that, or some stuff that we thought might have been there. I guess right. Uh, is there anything else between now and then? I guess the games comp gamer or the dev conference or whatever. Yeah, that's it. And I don't know how much we'll really see there. Right. No idea these days though. Like they keep adding. Like yeah. I mean, the, like the game awards became like a huge thing. The this trailer year, thing, yeah. The last, yeah. So who knows? Yep. Not us. <laughs> So yeah, Spider-Man's definitely going to be at E3. Yeah. Um, Last of Us 2, I bet, will be get a release date at E3. Uh, you think it'll get a release date? They'll at least show something. I think they'll show something, but I don't know if it'll even get a release date yet. Um, they might not show Days Gone since it got delayed. I mean, that's all the more reason to show it. Fair enough. God of War... Is already going to be out by then? Yeah, that's right. It's out this month? Yeah, hey, I keep forgetting that's coming out. Yeah, uh, I think that's actually the next game I'm buying now that I think about it. Yeah, me too, probably. Um, I don't know what Nintendo's really going to talk about. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem, Metroid Prime 4. Uh... Uh, Shin, Shin Megami, Megami Tensei, Tensei 5. Maybe we'll get some DQ news finally. Please! <laughs> <laughs> Bring us the Dragon Quest Eleven. It's been out for how long in Japan now? Months? Since August? It's yeah, July. it's been a while. I want to say yeah, it was I'm fall I'm last hoping, year. I'm hoping summer. Like a year. Uh, about a year after, probably. Yeah. For the yeah. translation. I, they haven't announced anything on or for the Switch yet, just that it was going to be on the Switch. Yep. We don't even know if it's going to release at the same time. It could not. Now the game's taunting us with all these Pokemon that could have been. Yep. Um, so yeah. And I don't care about Xbox. <laughs> or Microsoft. I mean, they don't ri Yeah, they... I haven't really paid attention to them because yeah. they haven't had any uh, IPs I really cared about anymore. Let's see, the next route is we can... oh. <laughs> is Victory Road, I believe. No, or 22, I think. Oh wait, that might, actually that might not be... We might not have any grass on that one here until that might be later. Yeah. Um, then yeah. Then it's uh, the Gerudo's Dawn Fantasy we hope for. Who is version exclusive. Yep. Over Ursaring, who I'm, I I really prefer Dawn Fantasy. <laughs> I feel you, bro. Although Teddy Urs is pretty cute. I don't care for him. I don't care for him as a Pokemon. 
insulting. He's cute. Though. Yeah. Oh, these useless berries. Ah, Sperry, when's it ever going to be used when you get frozen? In the Elite Four, after you deposit it in your PC. <laughs> That's when. Oh yeah, we got to remember to take out some stuff, I think. Yeah, we do. Uh, da -da -da. We got a Pikachu. She also has a Blastoise. Let's go... Yeah, maybe we don't do Noctis. We just go R and A. I think that's what we do. The next guy leads with a victory bell. Victory bell. There's another with Parasect. Oh god, it knows Thunder. Dash. Oh no. Oh no, it did 17 damage. <laughs> yeah. Good fire punched. Doesn't have a light orb. <laughs> Yeah. Getting uh, paralyzed. Fun stuff. Thunder is just not missing. Yeah, what is this crap? I'm fully paralyzed. Alright, what's going on here? You're gonna have to heal. <laughs> uh, I might have to because of Blastoise. Yeah. I don't know what moves it has. Uh, let's see... 32 blast toys. Not possible, so hacks! Uh, rap water gun bite, rapid spin protect. Okay. Well, I healed. That's one item. So it knows bite's curse. Bite's strongest. Or, I guess water gun is tied. Speed fell. It Attack and curse. defense went up. Yep. Find the right gym? Yeah? I don't... No it knows rain know. dance. Let's That's get ready. Be to level 42. This person has all sorts of hacks. <laughs> Next thing you're tell me it's gonna hydro pump. Well, we one shotted it with thunder punch. I, that's what I thought. I was like, it's gonna hydro pump me. Watch. Didn't and learn just, like, hydro one pump shot until us. 64, but you know, casually hydro. Pump. <laughs> Low key hydro pump. Oh, it's an egg move. TM. Oh, Rain Dance is a TM. I guess cool trainers can learn TMs. Oh, there you go. That's interesting. They're getting ready for the Elite Four. Yeah. N next up is cool trainer Gavin. Oh, baby. Victory Bell Kingler and Flareon. He chose the worst of the EVs. <laughs> he must be punished. I only say wit worse because of the move pool, not because of a, how it looks or anything. Yeah. Which is how I base Espeon. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I think Vaporeon's my least favorite looking one, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm with you. Though I do like it as a Pokemon yeah. to use. It's tanky, but... I think we'll get Pokemon Switch at E3. Uh, I hope so. I'd hope so too, but I bet they'll leave it to a Direct. Yeah, it's always been announced by a Direct, actually. The main yeah. line has always been a Direct. That's what people were saying. Um... That's why they're like, there's no chance it was gonna be in yesterday or yesterday's thing. Yeah. A lot of people wanted to see it. Instead, they provided I mean, Smash. I, it was just way too early for one. Yeah, it was literally just announced like less than half a year ago. I wouldn't. I mean, if there's a Pokemon Direct between now and E3, did a Meta just join us? I Maybe. did just join. What's up, Meta? You guys still uh, up and running? Yeah. Yep. We are. Nice. We're on our way to Victory Road. Yeah, man, it's string. You use, you're using bad mock meta. I am using bad mock, but that's because uh, Lily in the background has Critical Role going on at the moment, and it's kind of loud, and I don't want it to pick up on the microphone. Okay, no, I well, I'm just going to turn you up. Because you're really low. 
for me. You're really low. You're low. <laughs> what do you think of the chances we see Pokemon at E3 are? I think... I'm, I'm actually hoping. I don't know what the chances are, but I'm really hoping that's yeah. what next to see Pokemon. Because I really want Pokemon and Switch. Gosh damn it. Yeah, yeah, we were saying we think that we think they'll do it during a direct just because that's how they've done everything with Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, maybe there'll be a direct between now and E3. I think the bigger question is, will it be the Gen 4 remake or not? I... There's that random rumor that popped up about it being a reboot, which... Yeah, I saw that. I could see that being a thing. Just because it, it wouldn't know, surprise me on a console. Um, We're going to switch up the Pokemon universe. Don't you fucking start with the and then and th they say that and then they do the <laughs> snap with the switch yeah. sound. Yeah, snap. I can see it right now. It, may, uh, yeah, it makes like sense. Snap. Reggie's like trembling somewhere right now, <laughs> thinking about the possibilities. Uh, it's like this has got to happen. Um. <laughs> It's, yeah, I don't think it's going to be Gen 4. I don't think Gen 4 is big enough to lead off the gate like that. Yeah, I th you're probably right. I love me some Gen 4. More than most, I think. Yeah, you, you like it way more than I do. It's my least favorite Gen. That's why I Nonsense. wanted to have a remake. 5 is my least favorite, I think. Yeah. 5 or 6. 5 actually. is probably my second to last. The best thing about 5 is the story. Yeah, they put the most... I think, yeah, it's got the most story, I think. Which is why I think I prefer it over six. Six is very like the story sucks. Yeah. It might be the worst story in any of the games, to be quite honest with you. I just like the Pokemon in it a whole lot, and I like uh, the and region. I do not. The region was fine. Oh, we're gonna have a lot of grinding to do. Oh yeah, we are. We're almost there, bud. I this is interesting to watch. <laughs> In memorial, <laughs> you have the yeah. Three <laughs> Dino, Kenya, who was a gift Pokemon, and Prompto. Yep, Prompto Ooh. or Slowpoke. Prompto. Death is on your hand. Yep, I had to sacrifice him because I wasn't paying attention. We got into oh a battle God. with Slowpokes that were higher level than we were, and new curse. So they were constantly lowering their speed, but buffing their attack and was at a defense, point where and they were just, just one-shotting us. Most of our um, team. Yeah. Literally, the battle before that was where we lost Kenya to pursuit. My God. I just got beat by a trainer named Mal. He was really strong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you heal, cause that's coming up, actually. Uh -oh. It is. We'll, right, yeah, okay. we'll go take that free heal, because we're ergonomic. Yeah, go heal, because I think it's right before you... Or, it's right as you enter, I think. Or is it as you leave? I can't remember now. Uh, uh, Actually, it might be as you leave. The hill house is down there, so... Go Regis? Yep, King Regis, or Lapras. Are you trying to, you trying to tell me that you're wanting to advantage against these other guys? <laughs> I, I need that top advantage, man. <laughs> I gotta have it. Yes, all of our Final Fantasy 15 named Pokemon. Yep. We got Candy Crow. <laughs> I'm like, this is gonna be all like a Lunar experience for me. Uh, so I'm coming in, you guys have gotten the game, <laughs> explained everything, and I'm coming in, I'm like, what's dead? What's yeah. dead? Who, who's what's the, dead? <laughs> who are yeah. these people? Who they? Who, who our, they? Uh, our starter, uh, who is now a Typhlosion, you need to change that when we. Uh, yeah, well, point. when we go on break. Uh, is Noctis, obviously. Obviously. You know, the greatest Final Fantasy character of all time. <laughs> that would be a really killer blow if you had lost Typhlosion, like, early. Oh, yeah, we've been protecting Noctis very heavily. I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, the prince Super can't important. fall. <laughs> the, the prince cannot... <laughs> Prompto can be sacrificed. The derpiest of Pokemon. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to sacrifice Prompto because he's one of the main characters of Final Fantasy XV, but he got sacrificed. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so we got right now. We'll eventually switch Crow back out. Who, who we got to level thirty-eight because we put him at the babysitter. And it's grinded. actually not. That's not Kenny. Oh uh, yeah, it's Crow. someone else. 
it's from the movie. It's the female. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's King's, right. Uh, King's guard member. Guard member, yeah. Qu wait, uh, hold on. I got a question. Yes. Uh, well, you're gonna switch Crobat out with? No, we're switching Crow, the yeah. Polyworld. Oh, oh yeah. the Polyworld. We're that's keeping right. Ignis. Crobat. Ignis is our Crobat because we caught his Zubat, and I was like, he's blonde. Let's name him Ignis. <laughs> um, we've got Arnea, who is our uh, our, our, our our the Wafu. And savior of, yeah, of the uh, game, of Jasmine. Because <laughs> oh we, we realized we had nothing to, to answer yeah. for Jasmine. We're like forever, like, how are we going to take care of Jasmine because Steelix? And then eventually I'm like, <gasps> we can, can learn fire, fire punch. punch. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> and she just yeah. wrecked that gym. <laughs> We've got the god emperor himself, Arden Azunia. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But what is uh, it? Jasmine was when we finally re uh, I finally broke out the stat calculator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were like, oh god, we could die. Magnemots were becoming a big deal. <laughs> was... I'm actually kind of excited now to see what happens when you guys finally get it back to red. Because, uh, are you guys going that far, actually? Yep, that's the end. That's the plan. Oh, It'll shit. be a while before we get there, though. Now that we're just an asshole. If we wipe at Elite Four, are we starting over? If we lop at Elite Four, I, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, Mal. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't even want to talk about it right now. <laughs> this has been seven streams worth of playing, so right. we might just go on to another game. <laughs> it's like, you know, we, we got to Elite Four, we beat eight gyms, that's, that's pretty good. Even though this right. is like the easiest game that to Nuzlocke. <laughs> is it really? Supposedly. You you don't. You sure you don't guys don't want to do Pokemon Yellow at Nuzlocke? I don't understand why you wouldn't want to do Pokemon Yellow. <laughs> Seems like a good game to play. You start off with Pikachu. Uh, <laughs> hope, hope to God you catch a Mankey or a or Nidoran. Or Nidoran. <laughs> Male Nidoran, please. Or I guess you're quick attacking Geodude till it dies. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pidgey's chat? not the worst. That's true. <laughs> I always say every time you wipe, you downgrade the version. I, I remember <laughs> I played Pokemon Yellow a lot, and I would usually, yeah. before I understood that Nidoran males had double oh, kick, hey, I would in. get to What's a up? level 18 uh, Pidgeotto. Yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't know what we would do. Mirror uh, match. Mirror Gravelers, match. Have it, Gravelers have self destruct, correct? Yes. Oh shit! Seriously? That's, so we don't oh, want to fight. We don't. Fight, have our core. We don't, we don't want to fight. <laughs> yeah, we don't. We don't have core Leonis. What we'll spot the great Matt Mercer? Oh, yeah. Is he really? Yeah, core oh, yeah. is the guy with the katana. I. Oh yeah. I had no idea. Holy shit. Yep. Uh, we talk, our next game was going. Uh, our next Pokemon game is going to be uh, Gen Fi five. Gen five. See, I won't know anything about that game. I, I skipped. So I played Yellow was my first game. Yeah. Which I don't know. Me, me too. Which is, why, which is why it really surprised me when people say like that's the hardest, like one of the hardest ones if you're a masochist. I think I it's just because of Pikachu more than. Is anything. it just because of really? Yeah. I actually I mean, really enjoyed that a lot. If you know the types, it's pretty easy. Wow. Like Gen well, One and Gen Two are supposed to be the easiest still. That, but then I. I the then hardest I one supposedly is uh, Heart Gold and Soul Sil Silver, from what I hear. Why? Yeah, it is a pain's in. <laughs> that, that's the, that's the, uh, yeah, the crux. Yeah, you just gotta know just, to get, uh, guys, just teach him or Mankey. Lots just... of grinding, uh, the Pokemon selection is not great. Oof. Yeah, Nuzlocke, you can't farm. Just, yeah. just, uh... There's the Dawn fan to taunt us, too, Mal. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, you are we fucked unless you, you get, uh, Wait. unless you get Mankey or Nidoran. Wait, wait, you can't farm on Nuzlocke? No, you nope. only get the... Nuzlocke is that you can only catch the first Pokemon you run into on a route or area or whatever. Yep. Oh. Um, you can't so you can't run through that route and try to capture Oh shit, more. he's got rollout. Right. I need to right. be careful. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, and, but normally you can catch if you, like... So we ran into a Graveler first. We have a Graveler. So if we didn't have the stupid no duplication clause, we could catch. Yeah, the I next goofed. Spot. I goofed. He's a Dot fan. I goofed. <laughs> if you can is see, this, I've goofed. I've goofed spot? more than three times. Okay. <laughs> don't yeah, let don't yeah. let the number of deaths deceive you here. 
number <laughs> and the number two has also screwed us. I think it's why Prompto is dead, is because of the three item limit every battle. <laughs> We can only heal. We can only heal so much. I was like, "Well, I'm not healing Prompto." Right, because oh my God. the plan was originally uh, heal through whatever was happening until they ran out of PP. He just kept cursing though, and we couldn't yeah. damage him. Oh my God! It was pretty amazing. Curse, pain split, curse, what curse, pain split. Uh, but yeah, uh, Gen Five is. Um, yeah, Gen 5 is next because you uh, you only have Gen 5 Pokemon. Yep, that's the cool thing about Elite it. Four. Really? Or after Elite Four, yeah. So that's that's why we're gonna do that yeah. next. Yeah, so you get like a, a nice new mix of Pokemon instead it's of why oh god, I have to catch a Zubat again. Yeah, it's why they created the. Uh, there's why that Gen has the most new Pokemon at o over 150, I believe. It's like 154 or something. Wow, so it's like playing the original games all over again. Yeah, exactly. that's what they're going for. Though they did create another bat that's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, the, the Woo Bat. Or whatever. It's, it's got, got like heart. a heart eye. Yeah. They also have Audino in that game, which is good for early grinding, if yes. I remember correctly. So. It just heals you as you beat it senseless. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, There's Zen. A... Did you just I use you. Flail? He did, uh, so we need to hopefully kill here. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna not... say. Okay, Dawn Fan is dangerous. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's a kill. We take we take a hill here. I don't like the designs of Gen 5 as much. Yeah. Uh, but the game is fun. As, as the gens have gone yeah. on, I've never liked the designs. XY was actually oh, one of the Oh, quiet gens meta. You got Dub Blade and Aegis so, Slash. Yeah, I was get well, out of Gen here. 6 is like my least favorite. I actually like a lot of 7. And, well, I mean, yeah, the seven's Alola really good. Help. Yeah. I was gonna say, but like, then you cut out with like the cool ones, like two blade and whatnot. Obs, if you'd let me finish instead of interrupting my <laughs> sentence. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Also, let me just get passive aggressive with you real fast. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> nah, you're so. You're good. We gotta. I. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> think about battling. What is this? Mal, stop shit posting. <laughs> you can't shit post you in can't the middle shit of the Discord. <laughs> I can't look at it or I ain't this guy's. Oh yeah, good old Shrubbish and the ice cream cone guy. I think those are the two that are always made fun of. I don't like the fighting Pokemon, Throw and Sock or whatever. I hate them. Uh, they I look like Muppets. Like <laughs> I mean, it's better than Conkledur. Yeah, and I don't like Conkledur. Yeah, I don't mind uh, Vanilla. I actually used Vanilla on my playthrough. Yeah, I don't mind. He's I not as bad. Like hmm. I mean, which I guess it's fine that they're going for the Muppet look, because it's supposed to be America, New York, and stuff. I guess. So Sesame Blech. Street, maybe, maybe that's what Blech. they were going for. No. Oh. Who can say? No. That's a, that was a horrible decision. I'm not, I'm not whoever Satoru that, Iwata. Whoever, whoever made that decision should have been fired on the spot. <laughs> Does that make enemies? They Well, they do have self-destruct, we just learned that. Luckily, I switched to Regis. Regis cares not. We yep. knew they had self-destruct. Does one of your Pokemon... Does Regis... I can't remember if Lapras can learn cover or not at all. Uh, I don't know. I think she can learn rest. Yeah, I know she can... Like, a <clears throat> lot of Pokemon rest, Yeah, but... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Vulture one either, Zen. Was... Which was the one that had, uh... I think it's Gen 6 that has the T-Rex. The, the Rock T-Rex. Yes, really liked. yes, that's yeah. my favorite Jin. That's Pokemon. probably one of my favorite. Gen yeah, he is pretty cool. I I absolutely love him. It's a shame that he's actually like at least when you go play like um, really competitive, he's not that great though. Because yeah, fucking rock. I believe it. I really hate that. I hate that rock. And these are so bloody with so many things. Yeah, yeah, rock and ice yep. and kind of grass. Are like the worst typings, I think. 
It's yeah, grass fire is really prevalent. You're, gener you're generally fire moves, just, yeah. Yeah, are just really prevalent. Like a lot of Pokemon can learn them. Then uh, rock and ice fail because fighting are just fairly prevalent as well. Yeah. And then uh, it was uh, because of Stealth Rock. I don't know. Is Stealth Rock <laughs> still a thing? You're a Joltik fan. Work to, weak to rock. Stealth Rock <laughs> is still a thing. It actually is like the reason why like Fire Flying Pokemon yeah, are just like Charizard's always yeah. sucked. Oh yeah. Because the moment somebody throws out a Stealth Rock, that Pokemon you cannot, you don't dare bring out. It literally locks you down. Oh yeah, Joltik's like the best. Yeah, he is very cute. He's I, also like a few inches tall or something. Nope. He's the best. I think we could <laughs> accidentally run into uh, everybody. Here. Everybody uh, loves Joltik. Yeah, they I do. have not seen one, I have not seen one person. Venipede yeah. is my favorite Gen Five Pokemon. I enjoy Joltik. Um, I'm trying to think of some other good Gen Five designs. Mm, that wasn't my gen. I there think. are some. There's there's some good ones. I don't like the monkeys. How'd you yeah. feel about the uh, the starter theme in Gen 5? You've got the uh, Samurai, Sumo, and I guess, like, Lord. Yeah, Snivy was my favorite. Wait, Samurai, Sumo, Lord? The, uh, the, uh, yeah, you've got Superior, like, the Lord, and then... Uh, yeah, Superior. Uh, Imbor is the Sumo. Wow, person, you might be the only Samurai person I've Samurai. seen that likes Volcar <laughs> Volcanora Zen. Volcarona? Yeah. Seriously? But Volcarona is amazing. It's a fire. It's the freaking yeah, fire moth. Moth is awesome. It's fire Yeah, fire but, yeah, but no one ever talks about it though. Uh, it's like one of the best. I actually really like cool. him. It just takes forever it. to evolve. Volcarona is like one of the coolest Nine. ones. It's Volcarona, Joltik. Um, I see. This is like this is the generation I don't know though. This is right before yeah. uh, I oh, got man. back. I play. really love Venipede. I uh, I got a um, Larva Esta or whatever. The one before Volnarola. Uh, on a Wonderlock, or not a Wonderlock? Wait, yeah, I got it on a Wonderlock once, <laughs> and <laughs> you it, it is not bitch. great. Uh, not exactly because it doesn't evolve uh, until fifty nine, and it skill. goes from attack type to special attack type when it evolves. Oh, uh, I forgot that is when you get Samurott. Yep. Uh, I never, I haven't used Samurott. I, I don't think he looks all that great. I don't either. I use Tepig and uh, uh his sprite is awful. He looks way better when he's standing up with his swords. Yeah. He's got wait, he, oh yeah, does his arms actually have swords in them or yeah. something? See that sounds cool. And I haven't played black white and black two or black and white two, so from memory I don't like he's actually pretty decent when it comes to like bulk and uh <laughs> attack. I mean, he's only weak to uh, grass and electric, which aren't super common. So yeah, he's only he's is... a water only as well, right? Yeah, he's just five. full of water. I guess actually, or for they had the best commercials for. Um, I don't even remember them. Black and white too. They were like, I wanted that anime. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. yes. I had no idea. I, I really like the shorts there. they did. Oh, I love Chandler. Well, Chandler is great. Five, yeah. Oh yeah, yep. I I will be always. Biased, Ghost so. might be like the best designed top as a yeah. whole. Jealous one of them. Love Jellison. Not. I love Jellison for the fact that it's just water. But my I think my favorite one of my favorite Ghost Pokemon is Trian. Yeah, I love Trian. I do too. And I am so upset that Trian is just not that good of a Pokemon. <laughs> it really isn't. That grass, man. Dude, it's like I was so upset because I really love I love Trian. I was really good. I'm like fuck yeah, spooky scary ghost tree, hell yeah! And then I like I learned about Trian, and it's like oh, if you wanted to play him, and again like I wanted to talk for him. you wanted to play him competitively, that was a <laughs> bad idea, very bad idea, because he had really he had really crappy defense. He actually is really um pretty fragile defensively. You would think he wouldn't be because he's a tree. You would think he'd have some bulk <laughs> to him and whatnot. No. Nope. But I guess they're like, no, he's also a ghost, so we can't have him. Bulk. Yeah. And I'm like, well. Drop that yeah. deep, deep lore on me, Zen, because I don't know what Trance <laughs> War is. Uh, is Trance that... really cool lore. Do drop it. The, yeah, Do the, we uh, teach Re No, Regis doesn't benefit from Children. learning a dragon move. Drop a leg aside, Zen. Yep. Lay it on us. Yeah. You can't just give us that uh that lore piece <laughs> and then not follow through. You can't through. tease us like that, Zen. 
That ain't cool. The bonks are cool. Well, we got Rival 4. Here, oh baby. Rival 4 leads off with who, Mel? Rival uh, 5, I guess, technically. Rival 4 leads off with a wild fight with a gold bat. <laughs> uh, Sneasel. <laughs> Sneasel. Or wait. Or, uh, yeah. And Arnea can rip through everyone but Haunter and Kadabra. Yep. Good God. Calm down there, Arden. Yep. Arden Azunia. The He's king that should have been. Cannon. <laughs> our glass cannon. He is your glass cannon. Yeah. yeah. I actually like, uh... Umbreon and Espeon are two of my favorites version. I like both of them, yeah. Espeon. Bestion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course, pre-evolution that has the creepy stuff. Drop the lore. There he goes. Hold it! Are you gonna take the Pokemon challenge? <laughs> yeah. Mao is invincible. It's invincible. Obzi, I challenge you. Oh, is he saying, I, Obzi, I, I'm invincible? Yeah. He really said that? Well, he said he's the balls, invincible. The balls of the guy. It's Mal. I mean, come on. Listen Mal, what's the battle? Well, Mal, I didn't know you had such wonderful oh. hair. <laughs> Look at that sneasel. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. Now he melts. Something about oh, the yeah. spiritual <laughs> children. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Is that really their lore? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the lore of all the ghost books tend to be crazy. Trevenant? What? Or... Which one? Uh, Stump something, Trian. maybe? I can't remember its uh, pre-evolution name. Phantom. Yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm really bad with the newer Pokemon names. Let's see, Phantump is a children's spirit possessing a rotten tree stump. It lives in abandoned forests. There you go. Phantump. Oi. That's some bad juju. There was a, what was it? It was a Pokemon that was released in Gen 7? That is actually a good grass ghost Pokemon, I think. Gen 7 grass Pokemon? Uh, Grass Ghost. You're not talking no, about ghost. the, uh... Um... Where is it? The, uh... The si no, not the pseudo oh. Anchor. I think I'm talking the about anchor. the Anchor. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. Oh, that's Grass-type? Yeah, I it, thought was it was gra Grass-type. I'm pretty sure it is Grass Ghost. Yeah, it's Grass... Yeah, it's Grass Ghost. Yeah, it's actually considered really good because it has wonderful... Okay, uh, we need to switch here. ...offensive. Delmize! Yep, there we go. Ooh, Let's switch. Monster. Crow's only got 78 HP. I guess we switch to Regis here, just because he's the tankiest. He's literally got a yeah, bit. Driftloom so steals now. children? It's so cute. Yeah. Well, that's why I love the uh, Pokedex written by 10-year-olds or whatever. Um, meme or whatever it is. There's one of Driftloom, like, carrying off a kid, or taking dragging a kid to a class. <laughs> or like to do their homework or something like that and it's like <laughs> so you your flume carries them off to hell to god like, uh, I was gonna say is drift loom the uh, penny wise of pokemon I guess I we you... switch back to RNA I just don't want to get confused again Let's see what? uh then just surf yeah bro just go surf hey, yeah bro man. let's surf yeah, bro, sir. He'll probably throw out some. Uh, uh, Shadow he'll probably ball. throw up Magnum. Or have you? You haven't fought Magnumite yet. Yeah, Magnum we did. Him. He's dead. Oh. Shadow mm -hmm. claw. Good spell. You don't know. Oh, he's got a Haunter. Yeah, he does. Not I more. enjoyed. I, I actually like the Haunter over Gengar's farm so much. Yeah, I like the way it looks better, too. Probably. I don't know. It just feels. It feels really good. But then Gengar comes out. And it's like, I guess. We are no longer confused. Abra, Kadabra. King Regis will not fall for your shit. But, but bro, he foresaw a future attack coming. Yeah, yeah. well, it didn't save him. <laughs> From a, a surfboard upside the head. <laughs> Sir, Here's for alligator. Jesus. He's so weak a surf kills him. <laughs> yeah, Kadabra does not have good defense. No, he does not. He's a... Oh. We switch back to RNA here. Also, look at that for alligator that. sprat. I like the sounds that would probably come with that. <laughs> they just always come out with those weird noises. Ow. Scary face. 
Thunder Punch. There you go, Meta. What? Wake up. You're and, late uh, for school. Triple I don't want to go to school. Anti intellectual <laughs> lord ass, why do I even bother? You're trying to drag me to hell! <laughs> uh, there's future sight. Cadaver's dead! What bullcrap is this? Oh no. Shit posts, they make me laugh. <laughs> right, we might have to heal again. <laughs> Any literally lord ass why don't even bother You're trying to drag me to hell <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Gosh damn it. I think we can survive a gold bat attack. Famous you last say words. That? <laughs> Famous. I was gonna say you <laughs> say crit, that now. <laughs> crit into flinch. Uh oh no, here we go. Nah, we thunder punched him. He's oh, dead. Yeah, the crit wouldn't have even killed it off of a bite. Yeah. I would have uh, used another lemonade there, probably. One punch. Yep. RNA should be one punch. Yeah, one punch. There's a, yeah, that's like a whole series of comics, or at least people contributed to it. I don't know if it was one person or what. But... Yeah. All right, we need to go through our PC. But first, we take a heal. I Look mean, at that, go Mr. Through our PC and then grind. We're gonna have to grind forever. Oh yeah, we are. For sure. Like Lance's Dragonite tops out at fifty. <laughs> Jesus. Don't remind me, Mal. <laughs> yep. So, so here we are. Here's where we BS. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. Mal and I did not talk about Pokemon at all during the entire last stream. For not I, I tried a few times. <laughs> yeah. but we I were just, both I just kept very, very tired. I just both, like, we. I think we both just went basically to sleep practically right after. There's what we said we were gonna do. Pretty much. I don't know what you did. Uh, core. Night core. We got core back. Woo. <laughs> yeah, woo. I don't know if he'll get used once <laughs> in any mm. of the bots. I mean, uh, as a sacrifice, I guess. Potentially, yeah. How do we level up Aranea? Oh my god. It's an arduous uh, task we had to have, have ahead of us, Mal. Does it not? Is there no surfing in this area? Uh, we could go back before. Uh, I guess that's where we do it. We do it on like the pony talls and stuff before Victory Road. We'll do them last. We might not even get to them tonight. To be quite honest with you. Oof. Walking around in circles. Yeah, so, so yeah. yeah, there's no water in Victory Road. So yeah, we're gonna have a a long set of grinding here ahead of us. What do you got going on this weekend, Meta? Uh, well, I get up in the morning. Uh, I brush your hair. <laughs> Dress myself everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a toy commercial? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I thought I remembered that. Just making sure. No, it was. Uh, it's from the uh, "I'm a Barbie Girl" song. Oh, okay, there you go. Dress Same right thing, wear. whatever. Yeah, yeah. Sure, well, it counts. <laughs> it's close enough. Uh, no, I'm gonna get up and make some breakfast, and I'm gonna get on Final Fantasy XIV, uh, do reading in the morning with, uh, some people that I can tolerate, and then, uh, after that, I get about two hours to get lunch, uh, clean up a bit, and then I have to hop back on to Final Fantasy XIV because I run, uh, uh, our bi-weekly RP event for the uh -huh. group. Then, when that's done, uh, I have to be done before 6.30 uh, CST time, because then I have to um, get ready for streaming whatever the hell that is. We're gonna stream that night, which it might be Monster Hunter World, it might be uh, Neo, it all depends on if Lily is ready to subject herself to frustrating uh, hard <laughs> mechanics again or not. The deaths. Yeah. Last, Man, uh, we've been doing, we've been doing Monster like... Hunter World a while. It's fun. Monster Hunter World is just fun. We can both play it, which makes it... Yeah, that always makes it better. If, like, we do end up, uh... If we do, like, one person's stream, then uh, it really requires them to do all the streaming, so... Mm -hmm. And then be then all the entertainment and shit. Although I enjoy, I like, I should say that I could go uh, Lily play uh, Neo because 
Her frustrations, for some reason, just bring laughter to me. <laughs> you love to see people suffer. It's fun. A little bit. It's a little bit. It. It's a little I mean, bit. Yeah, watching her against uh, Hino Emma was something. <laughs> I was like, that was probably one of the funnest fights, because that's also one of the biggest fights in the whole game. The first fight is nothing, you know, Emma. Uh, yeah, she's, she's just kind of like, welcome to the game. Well, yeah. yeah, the first fight's like, okay, now you understand, you get to the second boss fight, and it's like... <laughs> yeah, that was the first wall I hit in the game. She's like uh, Father Gascoigne in Bloodborne. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's like, it's true. The, this one's the one to actually make sure you know the game. Yep. The, uh, wasn't the Cleric Beast, though, considered amazingly, uh, hard? Like, it's nah. actually considered harder yeah, than some of the other Yeah, it's really easy, in my opinion. Really? Uh, you just get be behind more than wagon, than basically. He's a big dumb guy that you can usually, like, just stay to the side of and kill. He's... But, uh, the next... I think the next boss is actually facing... Uh, Does she uh, fight the new yet? Uh, no, she has not fought the new. She'll fight the new, the and then next she... next one. Yes, and then she has to fight uh, fake Tachibana, and then she has to fight Tote's legit Tachibana, <laughs> um, who. Uh, well, he's not a mandatory boss. He's not a mandatory boss, but I'll be damned if she doesn't <laughs> fight him, beat him. That is like she's doing all the bosses. If it like because he like he is one of the hardest and yet one of the funnest bosses to face in the whole. Because of... You just gotta learn his timing. He, yeah, you, his, all his timings are really rough to learn. EI Jutsu is insane. That's what makes gotta him roll so through it. Yeah, trying to dash away off to any of the sides or backwards, uh, unless you've already got enough space between you and him when you dash backwards, is just gonna get you hit. Yeah. That you is Sephiroth. A... <laughs> That's pretty much what it is. He's like the Sephiroth of art. I actually think he's, um... Probably one of the, like, the most fair bosses, too, because you can parry him, you can do all these other things to him. But as you get, like, later on against other human bosses, they start to become, uh, they start to do crazy stuff. Like, Nobunaga, you can parry, block, and all of them, but the moment he ends up going into, um, I guess, special, like, Super Saiyan mode, um... <laughs> <laughs> for lack of a better term. Yeah, for lack of a better term, because I can't remember what it's actually called, um... But when he goes into that mode, you can't do any of that stuff to him anymore. In fact, uh, he's also impervious to, um, he's got hyper armor on, so he doesn't even flinch. Mm -hmm. So you just end up having to really dodge around. And then uh, a lot of the creatures, obviously, they just, they, they aren't, res they're completely resistant to it. Um, and once you get to uh, Honda Tadakatsu, he, you can parry him and stuff and whatnot, but... He's got a lot of moves that don't follow that normal convention of, like, you can parry the attack. He's actually got a lot of moves that will do things that you just can't, you can't stop. Yeah. So you have to dodge or block. Which sucks. Uh, and I think then... The Obsidian Samurai, um, when you face him, he follows a lot of the normal conventions, but he's got, like, his own movesets. Like, he follows a little bit of the normal movesets, but he's got his own, so... And he'll switch in and out, and then on hard difficulties, he just eventually... Like, that's the thing about human, uh, all the human enemies. On the harder difficulties, they suddenly stop fighting you in their normal mode, and they just have, like, infinite, um... Their spirit animal, or whatever it's called. And, uh, they immediately stop caring about, like, the normal... They're just... They, act, they, they fight hats. like a human. <laughs> they fight like a human, but they act like a creature, uh... Uh, boss. So any of the tactics that you would normally utilize against them, uh, uh -huh. you can use them against them more. Oh, uh, I gotcha. Which is, uh, which is frustrating a little bit, because that means, like, um, certain skill sets, like, on the, on the sword, uh, it has a lot of counters and blocks them. There's, I think, like, three or four of them on the bloody weapon. Those all are neutralized because you can't use them against, uh, the opponents anymore. And you can't use them against creatures normally. Um, but weapons like axes, uh, spears and um, like dodges and shit. They don't do counters and parries. And crap. They're just like uh, they're just like here. Point me at the tr creature, swing the weapon around, and do awesome damage. I think out of all of those I just named, I think only the spear has one. Uh, has has an actual like parry move on it, and it's it's not even super great because it can't be utilized against certain creatures like um skeleton. 
in the game skeletons, this katana, you can actually parry against a, a skeleton. But a skeleton, you can't use the spear to uh, parry against a skeleton. Um, the spears won't affect them, but the swords will. Makes sense, I guess. I did. <laughs> a little bit? I mean... It's... I, I don't know, because like they... Does the spear really do to a skeleton? Well, it's it's not like the spear's doing anything to the skeleton. I'm saying like when the skeleton attacks, you can't parry his attack with a spear, but you can a katana. Oh, okay, and there's okay, no okay, okay, gotcha. there's no reason for it. So yeah, that makes I don't know why. Sense. But um, but like the axe, the axe doesn't care about parrying because the axe is all about output. It's like here, swing me at something. Keep now do three swinging. billion points of damage. Keep swinging. So it's oh no, Tom. To <laughs> that's really what it is. That's, that's all it really comes down to. <laughs> Just like El an El Bavar, it's, uh, it's always Ono Tom. <laughs> and no one ever uses one. No, actually, I uh, Hats is using an Ono, uh, my home game right now. Okay. He's actually dual wielding. No, not. Yeah, he's got two of them. He's not dual wielding, but he is using uh, Ono. He's a Haruma using them, in fact. So, <laughs> very impressed by that. Um, those weapons are so good. Yeah, they are. Any any of like the keep weapons are bloody good. The higher keep one, I think the I still think the two best weapons in the game, um, no Nodachi key. and uh, the Tatsubo. Nodachi's just like, why are you even using your katana? <laughs> <Basically. laughs> yes, I'm like, well, you could void. It's kind of stupid. Uh, or keep three, and I'm like, no, why would I use? No, burn I have to void save point? my void so I don't die. Yeah. Like, that's like one. That's one more void point that I can use for like a different mechanic, like give myself ten more armor or something. Yeah. So I can full attack so. and my heart's content. Yep. It's like that's. I don't know. No Dachi. Uh, the No Dachi is. I think the No Dachi. You. If I remember correctly, I think the No Dachi you can actually start to um unsheath for free. You can ready uh swords of react. Yeah. No, Dachi, yeah. even though it's a large weapon, you can ready it as a free action. I believe Kenjutsu 5. Yes, Kenjutsu 5 allows you to ready it as a free action for it. Um, whereas Tetsubo's all heavy weapons you still have to require a simple or, a, I think, a complex or simple to ready them. Yep. So the first round of combat, if, like, when you're in the first round of combat, I want to pull my weapon out. Hey, buddy, guess what? <laughs> Use an action. <laughs> it's what defense stance is for. Bro. Yeah, that's really what it is. Yeah. Move up and that's draw, like, buddy. That's why I would say, like, if you're, um, I don't know, like, it's hard to, like, argue, though, because Tetsubo, um, itself, like, the rank, I actually like the rank 2 mash, the rank, not the rank 2, the rank 3 mastery for heavy weapons more than the rank 3 for, um, swords, because <laughs> it ignores 2 reduction. I think that's... Oh, yeah, that's good. That's really good. Then, uh... I mean, they, they share the same rank 7, they both just explode on 9s. Yeah, I've never seen anyone really use heavy weapons, weirdly enough, in a lot of the games that I've ran, so... Just interesting. It's... I don't think it's just because it's because, like, the whole thing is, like, everybody's always about katanas and shit. Now, I've seen people use, like, is. spears and pole arms more. I have not. I actually... That's the one thing I have Which rarely weird, ever seen in spears. they're kind of, like, probably the worst. Yeah, they're they're pretty bad. I would almost argue that, like, even though that the weapons on, in and of themselves probably deal higher damage, they're just, they're almost on par with, um, when you use knives and whatnot. Yeah. Because at least knives give you benefits to, like, you don't get offhand mm -hmm. penalties, um, you which... You just get that... I, <laughs> I still don't understand, like, offhand bonus. penalties, because, um... Why, why do you get offhand penalties in this game? You only get a penalty for dual wielding. What, what off... You get, like, another penalty for offhand... Does it, like, stack? Because if you... If it's you're... like... I think, like, the your offhand has, like, another 5 TN penalty on top of it. It's just so you can, like, use different weapons to get different effects, I guess. But, but that generally never comes into play. <laughs> you usually yeah, just use your one weapon. Yeah, you just use the one if you're using it for the defense. That's, like, what... The only reason anybody ever picks up a second weapon is because they knew that, like, later on in the game, they'll get, like, you know, 5 more to their TN. Yeah. Make it to that inside range. And if you want to do that, you might as well just get a war fan, honestly, yeah. and get bonus TN points. Yep. Yeah, you're gonna do that. Yeah, absolutely right. No, you do have to dump XP into that. So yeah, it's a rather that's the only expensive downside. build. Yeah. 
But it does play out. I mean, that's that's freaking. What is it? Four or eight? Uh, well, does it add on like one and then three? I think. Uh, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I've never seen. I've never seen. The only time I've ever seen somebody use a war fan, and I don't even know if they were skilled with it. They were just showing it off. Was in Winter Court Three. I think that's the only time I saw. Arso used the war fan. Oh, he did. Did he? Seriously? Yeah, he had three ranks in the skill. Holy shit, I had no idea. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's, um, rank 3, offhand penalties do not apply, rank 5, you get a plus 1 to your armor TN, and then rank 7, uh, armor TN is a by plus 3. I don't know if those stack. But, uh... Um, I don't think so. I think, uh, if your mastery is replaced by something better, you just take the higher. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the one that the spears and pole arms, which I'm glad they did split them, but they and we were we just won't talk about this. They're actually really bad. Yeah. Spears, spears. First round, you can ignore three points of reduction, which is actually is a bad, but it only works on melee attacks, so you can't mm -hmm. like throw the spear. Um, which then ironically does not go in line with your rank five mastery, which is increase the maximum possible range when you like throw <laughs> the fucking weapon by five. <laughs> yeah. So we are already have a lack of synergy here. Yep, and then rank seven is like, oh, now you can ready them as a free action. <laughs> wow, so. wow. And then that's that actually is mirrored in the pull arms. Pull arms are readied also as a free action at rank seven. But uh, and, and like I don't an initiative boost, I think. Yeah, rank three is initiative boost of five, but it only lasts the first round, yeah. so you're screwed after that. And then rank five state like rank five, like how often does this ever come up? You like if you're if you're against an amounted opponent or a really a significantly larger opponent, that's increased damage of one keeps zero. Yeah, that is that feels so underwhelming when you have like the like, swords and they're just like oh yeah rank three just increase your damage by one keeps zero for using swords. I'm like okay. <laughs> My favorite is the ninja weapons that all like explode if you do like twenty damage. Yeah. <laughs> twenty more damage, your weapon explodes. It's unusable anymore. <laughs> Which is funny too, because the rank seven literally states increase the damage that you deal with the ninja weapon by uh, uh, plus zero keep one. <laughs> yeah. So you even have a higher chance of doing <laughs> yep. lower than twenty. <laughs> it's uh the ninja weapons also kind of suck too because yeah. only two weapons you'd really use out of those the most are like shuriken or the subute and those weapons. Are ready to be mostly thrown. I think like the uh yeah, the shuriken is definitely Yeah, I think they're you both thrown. Subite is just the rocks, right? Yeah, they're just the rocks. They're not even meant to be used as a weapon. But mechanically, a rock and a shuriken are the same deadly <laughs> You can't add your strength to them. You uh I don't think You gotta uh... put poison on them, bro. Or are you even <laughs> scorpioning? Well, if you're gonna put poison on them, why even bother? <laughs> just use the poison dart. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how ninjas work. <laughs> they only believe in honorable poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, through shuriken. <laughs> yeah, and, and knobs. That would be and caltrops. Yeah, knives. Hey, I want to see. I want to see that more often. I want to see caltrops or L5 argument. I've actually, I've seen, I've seen that use Pathfinder and in, in D. I've seen caltrops use. I've never once seen an L5 argument caltrops. I ran an L5 R game where someone was playing a ninja, and I gave them smoke bombs, and they refused to use them. Why? Well, the player first off didn't understand how stealth works, so every time a battle would start, he would try to roll stealth, and I was like, "You're engaged with them. That doesn't really work that way." <laughs> and then I was like, "Here, here's some smoke bombs. You can like, they'll at least help you out." And then he never used them. <laughs> it was just funny. I was just like, oh. "Okay." <laughs> we had we we've had characters uh, <coughs> the first gaming I used to play. We actually the, um, Oriental Adventures, and uh, they all make character oh, baby. Yeah, <laughs> I love that fighter class, that fighter samurai class. <laughs> mm. uh, but we ran it, and uh, one of the dudes was like, I can't remember what the hell he did, but he was like honestly the legit worst samurai I've ever oh seen. Oh my this god, guy. I'm sure this. <laughs> I mean, they come from a D&D group, so it, it yeah, was like yeah. it was different. We were way younger. We were just like uh, in our teens, and shit. But um, 
he he uh he was honestly one of the worst samurai. He had like caltrops, he had like smoke bombs, he had poison and shit. It wasn't he wasn't even like a stereotypical <laughs> scorpion or something. He just like chose that. He was like, I'm gonna use all these things. But he was he was just like as you said your guy was, he was really bad at using them. Like he would attempt to apply like a poison to his weapon in the middle of a fight, and I'm like, dude, <laughs> you can't just sit down We're and be dying. like, hold on a second. I need to put poison on this. <laughs> Pause. Hor he ended up, what was it? Oh, the, the worst thing I think that he did, honestly, was, um, he, <laughs> we were running, they were running from something, and he ended up throwing caltrops behind him, but he it was in front of all of his allies. Oh my god. <laughs> so he blocked the That's whole hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Way to go, you pitted us in. I was like, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> Roll athletics, bro. <laughs> <laughs> or acrobatics. So he was very bad at bad at the same right hand. It was fun. That's good. That's some good stuff. Yeah. It, it's Oriental Adventure different East in itself. Because uh, it's. Like, ironically enough, the Oriental Adventures uh, fighter, like the samurai of it, was actually better than the core book uh, 3.0, 3.5 fighter. Because, yeah, you get a free uh, magic weapon. Yeah, that magic weapon was actually strong. Generally, you could just... And, and the way the game played is you could argue that, like, if your parents, your ancestors... Like, if you could you could say who your parents were. You could, they could say one is from one clan and one is from another. Yeah. You could pull from both of those feet lists. You could play it oh, like really? That. Yes, uh, that was either yeah. a variant or I'm making it up out of my ass. One of the, the two. The feats <laughs> that's how are we strong play. too. So you could you could still choose like from the clan or the style that you want, or mix the uh, the feet trees together for it. Um, that was it made it a lot better. I mean, it's still a it's still a 3.0, 3.5 uh, fighter. So yeah, <laughs> it's still going to carry you so long. But yeah, those are the Oriental Adventures are 3.0. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, those only carry you so long. But uh, it did at least help alleviate, um, like, the issue of, uh, of not potentially having access to what you want. It was, I will admit, like, looking back on it, it was really interesting to see them kind of, like, make their take on it. Mm -hmm. um, it was also, well, uh, I think it was still while the Mantis is a minor. <laughs> they weren't part of the, like, the seven great clans. No, I don't. Yeah, they, don't they weren't they're... yet. Yeah. They were. You actually had to. We actually had to find him at the back of the book. Yeah. Or no. no, no, they were. They just weren't in the main park for some reason. Uh, really? Yeah, because they became a great clan after the clan war. And that was set in the Four Winds era, I think. Uh, the very beginning of it. It might have been the Spirit War, I can't remember. Well, then they were put in the back of the book. Because they <laughs> were still they long. Back of the line. <laughs> Didn't you want to play an Oriental Images thing? Yeah, we talked oh. about it. I think we have talked about this, yeah. I think it'll be interesting, it, but, uh... Um, it'd be fun. Yeah. I, uh... I actually kind of like the way it... The way it, uh... You build characters and stuff, it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Where you, uh, you use feats to get your clan techniques. And they're, they work a lot like they do in the... The D10 version of the game. They... They do. They were actually really cool. interesting. Yeah. I was, uh, that's, there was actually some really cool stuff in there. The, uh, I will state this, though, and maybe I'm reading it wrong on how it was, but I will state, um, there was a magic weapon effect that you could get a wep weapon, and I immediately just consider this to be the most broken skill. Just make your alignment lawful good. Then add the, uh, the weapon property honorable. I believe it's oh, stated yeah. if your opponent. I believe if your opponent wasn't lawful or good, you right. dealt an extra two d six damage. Uh, really? I was. I was. Yeah, that was it like was a, basically holy, but you could like double stack it or like yeah. hit more things. Yeah, it was incredibly good. Plus, it did two d six, not one d six on the. So. Yeah. And like every anything that wasn't like anything that every almost everything isn't going to be lawful or good. So very clearly, your sounds be good. I think that was just done. Uh, uh, was it? It's probably the opposite. It probably doesn't affect neutral, I would think. It might not. I, I don't know. Because, like, holy is just 
any evil takes the 2d6 damage. Yeah, but, but like, like I said, I think the wording on this was that like if anything is not lawful and good, uh, then it took 2d6 points mm -hmm. So I could be wrong. Or I might have said lawful or good, so it it's had to be It's been so either. long since I've read the book that I don't remember. Yeah, it either had to have good lawful, uh, it had to have good or lawful in its alignment, otherwise you dealt damage to it. So true neutral, chaotic, uh, neutral, uh, lawful neutral, and chaotic. Get those them scorpions. Four, those four were going to take damage from on. But uh, and seeing as how almost everybody creature that can come across is freaking considered. Uh, so I don't got know. Four ice beams left. That was uh, four ice beams. Jeepus. Slowly. We're slowly getting there. What's the idea to get Regis up to? 50? Yeah, he's the most important one. We can probably right. honestly get by with the others being lower level, because we're not going to use them against Lance anyways. Yeah. Uh, let's see what Lance has. Because his probably we'll have... use Ampharos, just because of uh, Gyarados. Nice. Oh, yeah. He opens with that, so... Um, you guys running along a guide, or are you just, uh... uh... I mean, I've been... He's been looking ahead, basically. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, I've been looking ahead at, like, the routes and stuff to see what Pokemon we might get and some of the trainers, but... No, like, Nuzlocke guide or anything. Yeah, so we can prepare... Uh, one of his Dragonites has Thunder. Nice. That'll hurt. Yeah. I'm actually surprised by your roster. Like, it's so... Uh, well-rounded, even for a uh, game where, mode where you have to pick up the first thing you run across on that route. Well, so, we have our starter, which you get for free. Yeah. Eevee is a gift Pokemon. Oh. Um, from Bill. Yep. And then uh, Lapras is guaranteed, yeah, and it shows there. up uh, guaranteed on Fridays in Union Cave, and it shows up on the map. So that doesn't count against the one per area. Oh ho ho. So yeah, I mean only three of our- the other three come from random. Yeah. <laughs> so you just got really lucky with the Ampharos? Yes. Yep. If we didn't have Ampharos, uh, this, this would be a lot harder game. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what we would've done <laughs> if we didn't catch Ampharos. Wow, because, that is lucky. Because we were relying on Bellsprout to be our- to get us through the water stuff. Yep, good old Dino, and then uh, he died. Yeah, then he got killed. <laughs> he got killed by uh, Meryl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone that Roll he's out. that he had top advantage against. I was gonna say, doesn't he have yeah. type advantage against Meryl? Rollout killed him though. Let Rollout get too right. strong. I actually think the other place will be better to train for core. core. Mm. Really? Yeah, repels. <laughs> yes, we do. I oh, assume God, Dragonite is... So, Repel doesn't matter. Oh, right. We'll I'll switch, switch it out. I'll switch him, yeah. yeah. Swap out your front guy. Uh, I assume Dragonite's gonna be way faster than Regis, so the one with Thunder is probably gonna hurt. Yeah. Or I don't know what we're gonna do. Like, there's no way to tell if it's the one with Thunder or not. Luckily, Dragonite doesn't have super good special attack. Oh, no? I don't think so. I think he's an attack. It is pseudo-legendary. So even not good special could be. We good. just have to survive it. Here, yeah. let's let's let's. We, we could out. set up with X, X special defenses. Where's it? What uh? What is it? Was it? What is it called again? Dragonite. Dragon. Motherfucking Dragonite. Motherfucking Dragonite. Oh, stats. I got it. Yep, right here. Hundred. Okay, <laughs> so it's actually good. <laughs> Pretty potent. You know, on the on the plus side, Obs wasn't wrong though. It's it's regular it is attack is 134. Yes. No, it's not as fast as I thought it might be. Only 80, which is still 80? faster still than Regis. Still faster than Regis. I'm yeah. gonna say this. That's still pretty fast considering right. a lot of Pokemon. It's just it's. I mean, I just what usually these pseudos I think are fairly quick. Well, Mal, that's what uh the calculators were. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See. Just use a nice beam, guys. I don't understand what's. All you gotta do is survive one hit, and ice beam will one shot it. Yeah, yeah. It's four times weak. 
Wait, 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 wait. Can't you put berries and shit on your Pokemon in this game? You can't, yeah. Yeah, then just throw all my Yeah, if it one-shots, berries don't trigger. <laughs> oh shit, well. Wait, what about the berries that reduce all, oh, like, electric shit? There's that, that's not in this game. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's never mind, man. You just get screwed later. and messed up. I thought those were in this game, man. Oh, well, this would be a good time to break, actually. We're an hour and a half in. Oh, yeah. So, uh, let's take a five-minuter here. Take a five-minuter. And uh, we'll be back.